Hi everyone, this is Paula and today we are talking about journaling. So first of all, I would like just to give a little uh, background on what is actually journaling, okay? Because sometimes we talk about journaling, oh, I do it, I don't do it, but what actually is journaling? So according to the description, uh, journaling is a way of expressing feelings, emotions, ideas, desires, dreams, basically anything that crosses your mind. But we have to be honest here. We are all different. We are all different people. Of course, we have different ways of expressing ourselves. So this is what I would love to talk to you about today. It's about the different ways that we can actually work with journaling. So today I want to present you here my favorite seven uh, types of journaling and we are starting right away and before we actually start talking about this uh, types of journaling i would like to um, come out and emphasize that nowadays not that before it wasn't but nowadays is starting to be a big issue more out there the mental health situation which is which is beautiful nowadays it's 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 way more awareness about it and it's so important because all the time you see someone outside and they could be smiling at you and you have no idea what's going on inside that person what kind of fights they have inside what kind of worries what kind of feelings what kind of situations traumas anything that could be inside and as well journaling can help you so so much in terms of this um mental health issues you know sometimes um anxiety anxiety it's 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 such it's such an easy way to turn into a deep mental health situation because anxiety can affect so many of us nowadays you know you lose your job you 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 struggle with paying your bills you struggle with the areas where you live you know you see more and more um situations happening around you especially if you keep looking at the news over over the time which i completely encourage to avoid watching the news as much as you can um especially if you have some anxiety some um stressful emotions or um, emotional imbalance or anything like that I definitely recommend avoid the TV a little bit but um, for those of you who like it that's okay as well you know once you keep it away from yourself from your feelings from your emotions from your um, from your subconscious as well so as I was saying for mental health it's 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 one of my number one tips it's definitely write it down you know, write down your feelings, write down why do you feel like this, write down why do you feel like that, because sometimes through writing, you can even understand yourself better, see how can you do things better, and sometimes through your writing, you can find your answers as well. But for now, let's see my seven top ways of journaling, okay? So of course, we start with the traditional one, um traditional journal entry what does that mean all you need to have it's a journal a notebook a school notebook anything okay it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be anything once you're comfortable with it okay and a pen um and basically all you have to do is just write if you remember when you were when you were a teenager even before you were a teenager we all had our beautiful uh di diaries you know that you have with the lock with the princess with this with that because you like this color and it's and it's glittery and it's beautiful and it's shining and you you kept all your big secrets there or you even your your deepest secrets inside so this is literally we are doing journaling since we're very young but it comes a stage and we're like oh i'm too old for this well actually you shouldn't consider yourself old first of all and it's a great way actually to express yourself because that's what you used to do when you were young you used to express yourself there you know and when you go back and 
you actually understand yourself. Okay, so at this time of my life, I used to behave like this and this. It doesn't make sense now. Why does it make sense now? Because of this and this. So it's actually a kind of a self analysis of your behavior and everything, which could help in a lot of ways. And sometimes there's actually some topics, some issues that you just don't want to talk, even to your best friend even to your parents, to your brothers, sisters, siblings, whoever you have in your family, you know, you just don't want to talk. So write it down. Okay, just write down, just put it all out. Like if you're writing to someone, just 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 write it down. Okay, you don't have to explain yourself. Okay, just write it down. And number two, we have gratitude journaling. This is beautiful journaling, okay? So for a gratitude journaling, definitely you don't need to have a full book, okay? I know nowadays most people use digital rather than writing. I love writing myself. I'm always, I always have hundreds of notebooks at home and loads of pens and every time I have a different bag I have a notebook inside because if I go to a park or something straight away I just get my notebook get my pen and start writing it just flows which is amazing uh, so back to the gratitude journaling gratitude journaling can help you so much especially if you have that kind of thoughts once you wake up, you know, then it's like, oh, not another day. I don't want to do this. You know, why do I even wake up? What is going to come once I get out of my bed? You know, who do I have to deal with? There's a lot of issues inside that um, they can kind of downside your day straight away. And this gratitude, it's actually very important for that, okay? Because what I suggest in this gratitude journaling is that you, once you wake up, okay, if there's a chance to keep the notebook right next to your bed, even better. Because the first thing you wake up, so when you wake up, you're still very calm, okay? You don't have all the, the thoughts and the thinkings and everything in your head, so you're still nice and quiet, you're still making sure I'm waking up, this is my day to start. So write down three things, okay, it doesn't have to be like a statement, even just three words, okay, of anything that you're grateful for. It doesn't have to be something extremely deep, okay, it can be something like, I like the way I feel my legs today, um, I like my hair, and I don't know, I'm thankful just to get out of the bed. There you go, three things, okay? It doesn't have to be too much. Of course, this is very basic. It could go into something else. Um, I'm grateful for the house that I have. I'm grateful for my clothes. I'm grateful for my food. I'm grateful for um, the air that I breathe, okay? there, There's a lot of things that you can just... Follow your intuition and see what you feel, okay? And then with this gratitude journaling as well, I would say, at least in the beginning, when you're still trying to work on your gratitude part of life, do it three topics in the morning, and then in the end of the day, before just before you go to bed, again, you write three things that you are grateful that happened on that day. So you're going to go into bed with the happy thoughts, okay? Not about your worries, not about what you have to do tomorrow, not about anything else, just exactly how good was your day, okay? Maybe you went to get a coffee and the barista was so nice to you and they make something nice in the coffee, so you really enjoy that. Or you were in the supermarket and someone um, stepped aside for you to pass and that was really kind because you needed to go, you were in a hurry and that person just opened the door for you or anything like that. You know, it can be something really, really small. You just, I don't know, went out of the door and you just, you, you got the fresh air and you were excited about the day. You know, you saw the, the blue sky, anything, any re really, really, Anything that makes you happy will make up your day. And this is what you 
going to write down, then will just make you feel a little bit better. Okay, of course, it depends. What's your current situation? What's your energy at the moment? What kind of worries, emotions are you passing at this moment? So try this for a couple of weeks, okay? And let me know how how you feel about that. Um, then, number three, creative journaling. Now, when I'm in creative journaling, I'm not saying the other ones are not creative, okay? But in this one, you're gonna actually push your imagination into action as well before i told you just write down or like a focus on something that you're grateful for no here you're gonna just there's no limitations okay you're gonna express everything that you want okay so what do you need here you need several things you need um you're gonna try to find um, pictures, words, expressions, um, people, anything, right? So what you need, you need newspapers, magazines, um, maybe maybe even an old book that you have or um, a photo that you've seen or something like that. So you're going you're gonna to place these kind of things in your journal because sometimes for some people it's very easy to write, for other people it's very hard to write, to express your feelings, express your thoughts, express how you feel or anything, okay? Any desire, anything you would like to accomplish, anything that you're finding it's very um, challenging at the moment. So just put it down, okay? Sometimes you, you, you read um, a magazine, a newspaper, uh, highlights of anything and that caught your attention and that resonates with you okay even if you say you're going through your social media it could be instagram it could be facebook uh, twitter you name it and there's something there there's a photo that a post that really resonates the way you feel really resonates the way you want to feel so get that okay and put on this creative journaling and don't do this just in one day you know do it on a regular basis it's it's like sometimes when you're in school they say okay so imagine that you're going to uh build up your own house so you're gonna look for the best house the best room the best bed the best furniture the, be the best everything right so you just go in there and put everything that you like it most. And you're gonna use the most beautiful colors that you've ever seen and everything like that. So this is what actually what you're gonna do into this journaling. You're gonna get your inspiration. You're gonna get your, your desires, okay? What you really want to feel. Or even maybe sometimes you can also write it down how you feel at that moment, okay? And you leave it there, no judgment, no criticizing yourself, okay? Accept the way you feel, that is fine. And then the next day, maybe two days, maybe three days, you go back and you're going to check how you are feeling and how you feel today. And maybe do a different one today and see how you feel. And then maybe in about two, three weeks, you can go back and have a look how you were feeling and when you look back at that how does that make you feel and how can that help you overcome whatever challenge you're you're coming at this moment okay it's a really nice one it's a really nice one now number four question answer journaling for this journaling i would recommend first of all a space and a time you're not going to be interrupted for anyone okay not from your phone your tv radio people anyone okay why because i want you to get a nice say a sort of a sacred space 
okay you can get some candles light some candles light an incense put a really nice soothing music okay you can even put some essential oils in your diffuser or anything like that anything that will maybe a nice cup of tea i mean maybe a coffee maybe prefer a coffee or just a glass of water whatever you like okay um so you're going just to connect with yourself connect with your heart connect with your soul and connect with how you actually feel and what you're going to do here first of all you can start with the question how am i feeling now okay when you ask how am i feeling now i am sure a lot of things are going to come into your head okay now you're going to write them down okay and you're not going to go back and read it and correct it or, or make any amendments or anything no just write it down okay all the things that it comes to you when you write how am i feeling that's it next question how was my day okay everything how was your day did you find good things did you find bad things did you find challenging moments did you find grateful moments did you have a great conversation did you have a nice coffee did you find really nice people did you have some challenging conversations did you have some uh, pressure in work did you uh, got stuck in traffic you know anything you write everything down okay how did that make you feel write everything down okay what did I enjoy the most? What were my challenges? You know, what did I learn? Like you work on answering these questions because you ended up learning so much more about yourself. We're always learning. Okay. We're always learning. We're always through healing through all our life. Every single day from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, constantly healing, constantly knowing yourself, constantly developing yourself we learn every day every day we learn something new every day we find something new you can watch the same program the same episode over and over and over again and most of the time you will actually find something different okay you will find a different aspect is the same as um a card that you see anywhere or a page or anything every day you're going to look something different even outside if you find the tree today you're going to realize something about the tree maybe the next day you realize something else about that tree okay so work on this it's it's fun um it's great to be confident with yourself as well okay now number five number five visualization journaling so this is not just journaling but visualizing it okay this is of course more for people that really like to see things like to imagine things some people are more about writing it down other people are more visual other people are more talking like i talk too much here right so um what what i want you to do here i want you to try to put into paper what you visualize okay it's like it's actually quite trendy nowadays in jobs in um self-development you know in achieving your goals to do a visualization board okay and this is basically what it is say for example today what do you want to achieve today okay you go to your board and you put there okay so I want to do this I want to be a better person I want to do my duties you know I want to be better so I can become that I want to be better so I can have that I and as you are visualizing and writing it down, you are focusing on the things that you really want. And when you focus on the things that you really want, for sure, your day is going to be pretty much focused on the things that you want rather than the things that are worrying you. Okay, again, 
not everyone will enjoy this, but if you want to give it a try, I dare you to try because it is pretty fun as well. Uh, number six, music journaling. Music journaling, I love it. I mean, I love all of them, <laughs> but this one, um, especially because music has music according of course to the vibration has a different effect in our life in ourselves in the way we feel okay so when i'm in music journaling first of all what is your favorite song at the moment i said at the moment why at the moment because just because no the reason I ask you your mus music that you like the most at the moment, okay, as I said, we don't really like the same music all the time. Why? Because we change. We, we grow, we develop, we change every time. We're constantly changing. The world is constantly changing. We are constantly changing. Just because last week your favorite song was whatever it was, okay, depending what kind of music you like, that doesn't mean specifically that that music still makes you excited or relaxed or hyper or super high vibes or anything, okay, this week. It doesn't matter. So, this is what I'm asking you. Just put your favorite song at the moment. Enjoy yourself, okay? Enjoy the music. Close your eyes. Feel how the music feels inside you. What does it make you feel? Makes you feel sad. Brings you sad emotions. Bring you really positive emotions. Bring you feelings um, even to cry. Or it touches some part of yourself. So all of this, it's great for you to write down. Okay? And music, it's a huge healing, okay? It's important to note that music is healing, okay? You can go even to YouTube and look for healing music. Just energy. Music is energy. We are energy. So anything will be energy here, okay? So definitely work on that and you will find so many things about you so many okay and and this music journaling could be going on and on and on because we, then we can develop into this we can develop into if we want to touch more to the heart if you want to touch more into a deeper level if you want to connect more with our inner child if you want to connect more with our superficial side if you want to connect more with our creativity so of course it will depend but for now just for now, enjoy your favorite song, okay? And write it down how you feel, okay? And finally, number seven, we have sacred space journaling. Sacred space journaling, it's very specific, okay? It's for this very specific people. All right, I mentioned before, but not as much as into this, okay? A sacred space will be very much connected with more people. They're all about feelings, okay? Are very maybe focused in their spirituality, okay? Some people can actually call it a book of shadows where you write there everything about you, okay? And it's something very, um, very deep. Not that the other ones are not, but this one, it's, it's going to bring out so much about you, okay? Because you're in your sacred space. Um, and when you connect with your sacred space, okay, it's like you're an open book. Because you have everything that it's meaningful for you, everything that it's important for you, it's right there, okay? Whether it comes from your favorite incense, whether it comes for your favorite color candle, 
whether it comes from <clears throat> whatever tea you're having, okay, or whatever items you have in your sacred space. This is something very personal. It will never ever be the same because it's special in each way for each person, okay? It's like, I can tell you the way I see journaling and you could l look into someone else talking about journaling and the ideas could be similar, but it will never be the same, okay? And this is exactly what's happening as well in this secret, secret, sacred space journaling okay so when you're in this in this sacred space of course you will have all this smells all the environment so this is going to bring out a lot of feelings so when you are connected with your sacred space this is when you start writing down you know most likely you will see people even doing just a small meditation before to connect with your inner self, connect with um, your inner child. So we can, you can actually um, express yourself better, be unique, just the way you are, okay? In every way. So you just write it down. I want you to write it down. You close your book. You live it there, okay? You close your sacred space. You Maybe you will do another meditation to um, thank for the moment. You know, gratitude. Back to the gratitude list, right? The gratitude journaling. Um, and appreciate that moment. And at a later stage, maybe that day or maybe the next day or the next, the next day, maybe even next week, you go back there and you do it again. Okay, or you can go and just have a look how you, how did that specific environment made you feel? Okay, did you feel comfortable? Did you feel secure? Did you feel under pressure? Did you feel challenged by anything? Would it was it, was it a smell? Was it the 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 flame of the candle? Was this something? Okay, and when you're writing, you you keep looking around and. Everything it just comes to you, okay? All the energy comes to you and you pass that energy to the pen into the paper, okay? And you express what energy you're feeling at the moment. How are you feeling at the moment? And all these journalings are so important to realize that this works as a, a self-healing, okay? And... Of course, it's not a deep thing, but it works on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Bit by bit. Now, remember, these seven are just my favorite. You have tons of types of journaling. Maybe even try to see what comes to you, what ideas do you have, you know? Even comment on the, the, the comments below, what kind of journaling do you prefer, you know? Share with me what is your favorite journaling. I really hope that was a good um, session for you. Uh, these are all my journalings for the moment. And I do hope you give it a go to each of them. And uh, maybe let me know in the comments below how did it work for you. And until then, be kind, be you.